name is Corrine Valdivinos. Um, I'm a yoga teacher. I have been uh, the owner of Open Minds Fusion Studio for the last three years, which is like a group of all kinds of different uh, yogis, performers, movement experts, educators, um, just this group of people that I want to learn from. I come from more of a strict yoga background. I really loved Bikram. Bikram was my original love. That's hot yoga where you hold poses for like 90 seconds at a time and you feel like you're gonna die even though you're standing still. Um, and then I started moving into more of a power vinyasa uh, kind of thing. But through the years, I started feeling like, you know, yoga was my dance, right? It was a dance, it was a slow dance and it was a mindful dance, but then I found Thing called booty yoga which fuses a whole bunch of different yoga forms and dance specifically um, tribal dance African dance um, like hip-hop dance all kinds of things um, and I was like this is it this is this is where I'm gonna go this is my flow so I took booty and I brought it um, into my studio, and in some ways, we start, it started to transform, just like everything. I believe in the evolution of everything: yoga, consciousness, um, what we're doing in our lives, uh, what we are doing in business. Um, I, I do believe in the collective consciousness and how just moving and flowing and breathing and dancing with people um, is what is what we do not only in class, but we do in our community. Um, at work, whatever. So it's just practice. We're just practicing for real life. So the dance aspect helps. So we took these aspects of Kundalini, the Bhuti Yoga, Power Flow, um, my own dance, um, my own time, types of dance that I've been doing through the years, and other teachers, and letting it transform to what we call an Earth Goddess Yoga form. So we meditate. We flow, we move, we breathe, we use some of the traditional breath work and meditations um, along with the dance and it's really organic and where nothing really is wrong. If you listen to yourself, if you're practicing intuition, like what you are doing is healing your body every single second. Um, at those moments where you approach pain, you back off, you know yourself, you know your breath, and that's what I do. Ha, <laughs>Hopefully bringing in aerial yoga, maybe aerial performance, um, other dancers, other dance events, other events, um, booty yoga, earth goddess retreats, I really hope too. This is one of those things that I already have rolling and we, like I said, bring in different educators, always have yoga and meditation as a basis, healing arts, and what a cool space we could use with all the classrooms. Oh my God all the different things we can learn in like a weekend or a day, um, yeah. Uh, just begin story. Of course, like so many people, you have to hit some kind of a bottom before you start to begin. There's a moment where you're like, okay, I'm gonna start meditating, I'm gonna start praying, I'm gonna start doing this. I'm, and of course, it was a relationship thing for me, you know, the end of like a 10-year relationship that I dropped everything. And I, I've been doing yoga for a long time. I was already trained as a yoga teacher. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it 100%, whoops. Put all the money I have into it and see where it goes. And so far, like, I just said yes to everything. I say yes to everything, and that's kind of been my philosophy. People come to me, and they want to help. Yes, Sarah over here, like, all of the people in my life, they just come to me, and they're amazingly talented, and I feel like the more good I press at them, the more good they press at me, and we just bounce it back and forth, and we're like kundalini spiraling up there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is super impactful. It feels like there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of this happening and it's like oh, it's erupted at the right moment and people I know have been hearing about it too and been like, oh, I want to be a part of it. And I live in an artist loft where we have some of the similar ideas and philosophies of like just creating space, right, to create and to be, um, develop your talents and be around people who are like-minded, which is super important. And then inviting other people in the community into that space as well, just creating more. Um, I love like the fact that there's like meditation space and quiet space there that is so important to me and the fact that we might be bringing some aerial in there which is also what we what I do around here.